Hi guys and welcome back to another video. It is the end of October, so you know what that means. I have changed out my Halloween tabletop for a general fall one. And it is time to show you what I bought this month. I bought quite a few books because October 2nd was my birthday. And I just told people they could look at my Amazon wish list for gifts if they wanted to. And I tried to color in all of them. Uh, I think this is the only one that I didn't color a picture in because I just bought it. I bought this one at Hobby Lobby. This is Girl Power by Christopher Hart. And it's a manga book. Well, the girls are manga style. And it has a lot of portrait images of girls. And there are some images like this one where the girl is standing. They kind of all have a wallpaper background. But that's alright, you don't have to color it if you don't like it. So that was the re most recent book I bought, and then everything else I think came from Amazon. I had Deborah Muller's Creepy But Cute. You're gonna see a lot of Deborah Muller books this month. She always does her Halloween ones. This is a nice one, it's got a lot of uh, small, cute images. It kind of reminds me of her Halloween Darlings book. I won't show you what I colored yet, you'll have to wait until my colored pages video, but here's a few more pages from this one. It's super cute and I like it a lot. Alright, and then I got Space Girls and Aliens by Deborah Muller. Another really awesome one. This one has a bunch of aliens and robots and space type pictures in it. Lots of astronaut girls. Here's an alien. Here's an astronaut, another alien, another alien, more aliens. There's a couple of robots in here too. Let me see if I can find one really quickly. I think there's one somewhere here at the back. Yeah, here's one. Here's one of the robots. And then I picked up Graveyard Queens. Let me reorganize these books real quick so that all the Deborah Muller books are going to be together. This one is very similar to her book Wicked that she put out a few years ago. It's This one I noticed didn't have a book belongs to you page, so it just starts it out with the images. Uh, it's mostly portraits of creepy girls and women. This one's really nice. And then I picked up Fall Fairies which was the one she put out this year that has a general kind of fall theme, so for everyone that doesn't like, you know, Halloween. And this one is super cute. I don't have any of her fairy books, which I know she's put out a lot. So just lots of cute fairies, lots of pumpkins and leaves, and there's a lot of owls in this book, too. It's super cute. I really like it. Next, I picked up a book that everyone has seen before. I finally got the World of My Stained Glass Color by Number book by Sun Life Drawing, right? That's who published this, yeah. And it's awesome. I really love it. It's got a This Book Belongs To page. And then I had a color palette. These little diamonds were blank. Um, I, color I went ahead and colored in my color palette with the colors I intend to use. I thought that was very nice and helpful. And then you get into the images. There are several of them that are upright like this. There you go. Here's another one. And then there are a lot of them that face this direction here. This book has a lot of images in it. I'm not sure how many. Let me check. This is the only book that I didn't do a... Uh, flip through of for the channel, I think, just because everyone has definitely seen this book before. Let me see if it says how many pages are in it. Um, 30. So there's 30 pages in this one. And I did two out of it this month. I picked up my first book by Camelia Angel Kova. She has a lot of mandala books, but I'm just not really a fan of mandalas. And then this year she started doing these uh, seasonal miniatures. She's done spring and summer and then autumn. And I decided to pick up the autumn one. I need to get the other ones after getting this one because this one is uh, super cute. I'll definitely be getting the winter one when she releases that. She posted a peek of it on Instagram. 
starts out with this book long stew page and then you get all your cute images. They're just simple little images that have kind of a general autumn theme. There's a couple of Halloween ones in here too. This could be a Halloween image. Let me see, there's one with some ghosts. Uh, I'll try to show you that one because that one could be, a, here we go. See that's like a very cutesy Halloween image, I think. So I really like this book and I intend to color in it quite a bit uh, in November. Definitely like it a lot. And I intend to pick up her other ones. So I also had Dog Life Coloring Book. This is by Kenneth Hutchison. And he has a Cat Life one on uh, Amazon too. I just found this by chance. You know, when you're looking at a book, it shows you books we recommend for you at the bottom or more books like this. That's how I happened upon this. And I love this one. It has a comic book style to it. I did find out after I posted my flip through that um, this guy is an artist for both Marvel and DC Comics, so that's why these pages kind of have a comic book feel to them. But they're just some kind of weird dogs. A little bit on the ugly side, but I like that. I think they're cute. And they're doing various things. He's playing the guitar. He's grilling. Got this one painting. I don't know. I think they're super adorable. I like their big weird eyes. Some of them are squinting in a lot of the photos and I like that about them. I don't know. I, it's weird and charming and I really love this book and I'm glad I found it and ordered it. And then I have Uncommonly Cute Animals. My tab fell out. There we go. By Jen Racine. She has put out a lot of books in the past, um, but I don't have any of them. Uh, she did like the Zodiac Cats, and I think she has one called Woodland Wonders or something to that effect. But she's got a lot of books, uh, so you might have heard of her name. And this one features some cute rabbits. Yeah, Woodland Wonder, there it is. This one just features a bunch of cute little animals. We have an Angora rabbit, and they're animals that are uh, uncommon. Maybe you haven't heard of them before. The Axolotl, the Eye Eye, and I did a big flip through of this one too. The Banded Piglet's good, and I read off all this information that's on the pages. This one is super cute, and the pages are very simple. They continue like that throughout the whole book, just kind of the animal in a very basic setting. Uh, the listing said this could be for children or adults, and I think it could be because of the simple style. I liked it a lot. I think it's fun to color in, and there's 30 unique pages in it. It didn't have any doubles or anything like that. So. Let's see how many books I ordered. Hang on. Oh. Alright, here's my stack. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's my biggest haul to date. Nine books. No supplies this month. That was more of a last month thing. But thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this little haul video.